What's goody? I am the Queen G22, and you are now in the Lioness Den, where I like to talk about Ninja Turtles gaming, geek stuff, and travel. So if any of that's your vibe, you are in the right spot. Today is a good day. What did I get? I got a box from Bull Airs. Shout out to Bull Airs. I appreciate this so, so much. Now, if you're not familiar, with Bull Airs. Let me quickly catch you up, but of course, I will have Bull Airs info in the description as I always do. Who are Bull Airs? I'm, well, you know what, I'm not exactly entirely sure, but I do know that they do pop culture and geek stuff themed shoes and apparel, and maybe more. I'm not sure, but what I know them for are definitely their shoes. And they asked me, or Thomas asked me if I would be interested in their sewer stomping shoes. Now, let's be very careful. These shoes are inspired by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's just make sure that we have that correct for legal reasons. We don't want to get anybody in trouble, but you know, Paramount helped them out a little bit, right? Like this shit's getting old. But anyways, sewer stomping shoes. So the name alone sounds like something that I should have. I believe these are the same ones that are growing and are gaining popularity in the Ninja Turtle community, as well as Kevin Eastman wears a pair himself. Do not quote me on that. I know that he wears bull airs. I'm just not sure if there are multiple shoes that are inspired by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but um, I'm pretty sure that these are the same ones that uh, they get to the Kevin Kevin Eastman and every time I see him at a con uh, or even I saw him at the Mutant Mayhem screening he has these shoes on so I'm assuming they're comfortable besides just stylish so that's that if you want to know more about Bull Airs make sure you check the description so let's check these out right now he wanted an honest review so I'm gonna give it to him that is what she said okay got the sides off and this is just the outer box. And I'm not sure, but if y'all peep that, but just the outer box, right, it's got that Bull Airs. I don't know if you can see it, but hopefully the B-roll will pop in. That Bull Airs tape. So I was very excited when these hit my dough step. All right. First off, first and foremost, as we always do, we're gonna check out the box art. Now, the box alone itself says there is some radical shoe wear inside of this box. I'm really excited. Let's just take a look at the outside of uh, the front. It appears to look like somebody that could resemble a Raphael. Uh, we got bull airs, pieces of what could have been something similar to a logo. You know, we're not sure, but I do notice this punk rock Donatello face in the corner. Not to say that that is him, but you know, it looks like um, it could be somewhat similar to that. On the side, we've got some more artwork and I just feel comfortable if I just not say a whole lot anymore. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but uh, look at that side, that side artwork. It looks, it looks great. And then on the other side, we've got our official Bull Airs logo and it says the size which they didn't write my size on there which I'm a seven and a half and women's by the way if anyone wants to um buy me some shoes there you go and then on the other side this is really cool we've got what appears to be could be resembling to some turtles and possibly something that resembles a turtle wagon or for what I always called it a turtle van so this is a really really cool box I'm digging this box art and the box alone I'm already excited so let's open this box up and see these sewer stomping shoes got our bull airs top <laughs> My first reaction is laughter because these are adorable. Oh my gosh. I do spot a problem. Now I believe these change colors or I should be able to change colors. So the problem is that it's got an orange on it, but um, I can easily swap that to uh, something purple. But <laughs> look at these shoes, y'all. Aren't these adorable? These are so cool. <laughs> they got that new smell. Look at these. Aren't these cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, let's go over the review and then I will put these things on and see what's really good so first of all I love on the back of this we've got kind of like the shell kind of like of a turtle right which is cool these Nike logos right are supposed to come off I said Nike but they're not Nike because these are bull airs but these thingies these swoosh looking thingies come off and I believe I can switch them out and look it comes with a gang of colors to switch them to so let's just go ahead and find that purple one real quick see what that purple one do how that purple 
that purple do. And uh, let's go ahead and put that right on there. And uh, okay, now, now this is a good looking shoe. I'll swap the other side, or I might not, because um, a turtle that resembles Michelangelo is my second favorite Ninja Turtle. Um, so the outside is clearly, it's leather, but this top part where the, the sole is, I mean, that's not the sole, but whatever this toe part is called for all you shoe fanatics. And the reason why I don't really know all this stuff is because I don't really wear high tops. I'm more of a, a flip-ons type of chick, but these, shoes if you catch a girl at a con trust me i will have these on as long as they're comfortable which we will we will double check but yeah for all of you shoe fanatics that know all the shoe you know verbiage and whatever go ahead and correct me like i said i don't care because i don't really wear high tops but if you want to be the one to be like this is what it's called go ahead and do that it's all you so but this part this top part feels kind of like velvety kind of i don't know what that is <laughs> i really don't but it's nice and soft so i like that and now i'm looking at the stitching dude the quality on this shoe is impeccable this is a gorgeous looking shoe there's no half-ass work on this shoe at all there isn't this is a legit shoe and i'm gonna say for those of you that purchase these you would assume so right because these aren't uh these aren't cheap at all now it looks like we've got a velcro strap up top to help lock us in does it yeah okay so yeah you can tighten it a little bit to adjust which is nice we've got our bull airs logo on the top i believe that's called the tongue right for you shoe people holla at your girl let me know i love this logo this logo is super cute yeah this is this is super 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 cute we have the soft fabric up top again which is good because uh no one likes the shoe that's gonna like <laughs> cut them on their ankles which i've had that could be part of the reason why i don't wear them anymore and uh, this sole this sole is legit so I'm a fan flip it over on the bottom we've got the bull airs logo on the bottom as well now let's see if we've got any fancy stuff on the inside this velcro part comes right off pull this out a little bit and I'll try to get a better look, but we do have the Bull Airs logo on the inside as well. Uh, and this feels legit. So just going off a of first glance, this is a sturdy, sturdy shoe. Uh, I love the green shoelaces. I love the colors. It's definitely giving a sewer stomping vibe. This is, this is a well-crafted shoe, very, very much. So now that we've taken a look at it, let me put these things on and, and uh, see how they feel. All right, what's good? and welcome to another episode with Queen G on the floor. I told y'all there was gonna be a lot more videos with me on the floor. We've used that's what she said. But yeah, cause I'm about to uh, put these on and see if, uh, how they feel. So they've been packed very well. Like I said, the craftsman, craftsmanship on these shoes is immaculate. Um, it's perfection. I took out my little insert that was keeping my toe in place. I fluffed up my laces some. So now I'm gonna try to put my foot in the shoe. <laughs> See if this is a good angle. Oh god. <sighs> okay. All right. How you? Uh, ho I hope you all enjoy this angle right here. I got my shoe on. Slid in pretty easy. Don't use that. As that's what she said. That's too obvious. Uh, we're gonna strap up our laces and just right off the bat after putting my foot in they feel they feel good so i'm happy so far tighten these up son if i can boom you see that i got my little uh trusty strap here you see that put that in hopefully boom now i'm strapped up and ready to go okay all right y'all now's the test i feel like i should be in new york with these like i could kick somebody's ass with these. They feel good. I guess my first check is to make sure that I can take off in a run if I need to. I'm at the con and I see that the line is getting ready to pick up. So I need to take off and get to that line. All right, that feels good. Yeah, that feels good. What if I wanna start sea walking? Yeah, that feels good. Okay, what up West Coast? These, uh, yeah. This is a good shoe, y'all. This is a this is a good shoe. Okay. Also, uh, let's see. Minding my business, and then some chicks like, "Hey, I saw your picture in my man's phone. I need to be able to take off or take off, take off." Yeah. 
Yes, yes. So there you have it. They tell us to stop saying there you have it, but uh, it feels comfortable to me, so that's what I'm gonna say. But that is going to be my official review on these sewer stomping shoes by Bull Airs. Now, I'm not the most, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't have the specs. I'm not gonna tell you all the specs and stuff, but I can tell you an honest yay or nay, and especially somebody like me who doesn't really wear high tops. I don't know. These shoes uh, definitely think have me thinking that um, I might start gonna. I, I really might do that. So these are not only fashionably gorgeous, especially for uh, us TMNT fans, but uh, they're also very comfortable. So not only do you look good, they feel good. So this is a this is a definitely a double thumbs up by Queen G22 Bull Airs. I love these. Thank you for these. These are awesome. Again, I will have their info in the description. All all the specs, all the stuff you want to know, the materials, how much of it, all that kind of stuff I'm sure is on their website along with the price. And I'm not completely sure, but I do believe you can still get a pair of these if you are interested. Let me know in the comments what you think about these Bull Airs. And again, uh, these are sewer stomping, but they've got a whole line of geeky pop culture, very cool uh, apparel, merch, all kind of stuff. So make sure you give them a look let me know in the comments what you thought about these shoes and if you thought this video was entertaining in any kind of way make sure you hit that like button so other people can see it too and i'll see you all on my next video hold up you know you can't leave yet we have to do our subscriber shout outs so if you're new to my channel i like to play a game with my viewers and it's called that's what she said and it is because I adore the show The Office so much that I incorporate Michael Scott's favorite saying, that's what she said in every single video. There are times in my videos where I will make a comment and I won't call it out as a that's what she said. And if my viewer does and it's good enough, I'll give you a shout out on my next video. In order to be considered for a shout out, you have to do three things. You have to one, say what I said, two, timestamp it, and three, Say that's what she said. Now before I go into our shout outs, I'm going to do something a little different. This last video of That's What She Said was amazing. Seriously, give yourself a, a, a round of applause. There were so many good ones. So I'd like to do a few, I can't do it all, a few honorable mentions because they were they were right there, like they were really good. Like y'all really had me rolling. I, I wanted to give a honorary shout out to uh, Tall Geese, uh, Future Dark Knight, Mega P, 12M3, did I get that one? And Jer Amazing Shots. Now I'm going off of the top of my head. That's just to name a few. Nice job. <laughs> Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into our official shout outs. My first shout out goes to Zio Ranger the Seventh, or is that Zio Ranger VII? I, I don't know. I, I, and then I might not even have the numbers right, but Zio Ranger, nice job. And this is what this person thought should have been a that's what she said. Now this thing is a beast. Let me pull this all the way out so you guys can see it. Try not to break it. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. Yes, uh, that, that was a good one. Nice job. <laughs> Our next shout out goes to, and I apologize if I butcher this, dude, reading is hard, but I want to say Bassy2K91. <laughs> nice job. And this is what this person thought should have been. Uh, that's what she said. For, oh, look at this. We got our little our little helmet for Donatello so he can, uh, you know, get that work done. That's what she said. Oh my God. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael, please. Serious. Please. <laughs> yes, that was another really good one. We just had a really good set. Nice job, everyone. And thank you so much for participating. And now I'll see you all on my next video.